What's up, Madden 25 Gamers? Today's episode of Offensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at the West Coast Playbook. The team we're going to be using this week is the Miami Dolphins, and our base formation comes from the Far Tight Twins formation. This formation, today we're going to break it down for you. We're going to be coming out in the play slot corner, but the audibles we're going to set in our custom audibles uh, section in our custom playbook. We have the slant hook, curls, the quick toss, and the halfback pitch. All right, guys, let's hop into this um, formation here. Far tight twins, the base play, what makes everything tick in this offense. This is our favorite formation in Madden 25 just because of it's always been my favorite formation, but uh, even more so this year just because of the way that the game allows you to run the ball a little bit more. So one of the most popular defenses in Madden 25 is the Sugar defense. And so we're going to come out in our ba in a basic two-man under here from this formation. And a lot of times in slot corner, we're going to be able to hit this running back to the flats really quick. That's our first read against zone and man. Uh, typically, we like to just throw that just to get them to establish that that route, we like to hit the flats. Our second read... Um, is going to be Brian Hartline coming across the middle of the field. Now, against zone, as you see here, this is a really good read. Um, it's sometimes good against man. It's sometimes not. Um, so here we'll look at two, uh, against a two-man under. And you, here you see the two-man under. This time the two-man under stays with it, and you can lob it, and it kind of will sometimes work. But not always, but you'll see here in a moment when I go to... Um, if I run through it a couple times, you'll see eventually... You could obviously playmaker it backwards, but that may take a little bit too much time. Time that we don't have in this game, to to quite, to be frank, uh, the nickel strong when facing defense. But you see right there that separation. That it will sometimes happen just because of the way that the formation is aligned. Now, uh, we'll get back to the drag in just a moment in one of our other plays. Um, our third read is going to be the corner route. You're going to see that was a purple zone over there. And it was not able to stop it. Guys, to be honest, the corner routes this year, if you pass lead, just pass lead against the zone, whichever way you want to throw it. Here we pass lead down, and you see it's effective. Against a cover three, uh, we'll take a look at a cover three here, just a standard flat zone. Um, you'll see we're able to just pass lead to the outside, and it'll get open. And then it gets a standard cover two. Um, standard cover two here, you'll see um, we're going to pass lead it to the left again. So just a lot of different pass leads on those corner routes. Get used to that. That's the way they work this year. But if you can master the trajectories, they're almost always open. And you see definitely here against man, um, really good pressure there by Corey Redding coming off that edge, um, which is using our uh, four down lineman defense. We're going to be going over with the Colts in a couple weeks. But there you see the, the separation against man. All right, so then the fourth and final read on this play. Well, the fourth read on this play is the tight end here. Pass lead down to the inside is very effective against man coverage. A lot of people don't really throw in routes this year. In my opinion, they're very effective, a lot more effective than they have been in the past at beating man. Uh, as far as cover three goes, just pass lead him down, and it's, it'll work almost like a drag route if they if they use it or everything else. Same thing in th same thing in cover two. Um, cover two here, you'll see you can just go right over the middle, and it, it's just a really effective route that you can use. Um, Next thing I want to look at is a basic look at a Sugar D. Uh, a lot of Sugar defenses will shift their linebackers to the left and spread their line. This uh, opens up a weakness on the left side of the field, and we exploit that by using our quick toss audible. And as you see, it's just a little quick pitch to the outside. <laughs> and, of course, Laurent Landry makes an incredible play. But the idea here is to just get out wide with that quick toss, um, and, and we can use motion, uh, motion to make the... Make the run a little more effective. Landry's just blowing me up right here. Let's see if we can get something. Let's we'll see if we can get something out of this because this this normally is a pretty good read here against this formation. Is to just run that quick toss. There you see, and, and quick toss is just something to kind of. It's a natty play. It, it can either go. Typically, it'll go for two, three yards, but sometimes it'll break for like thirty. So that's why we like to use it. If they're not honoring the right side of the field, we obviously like to use the quick pitch. It's just a power O. Basically is what we're going to be trying to do. And you don't want to cut this run up. This run is a run where you want to literally just run it like a power sweep. You're just going to run super wide and then go up. And you'll find yourself breaking. You know, Typically you'll only get like six yards maybe. But then you'll find yourself in a game and you'll break the game wide open with this quick pitch. Alright. Next play I want to take a look at is the curls. Uh, what we like to do with this play is we like to take... Um, there's a couple different ways we like to run this play. The first way we like to run this play is we like to motion Wallace across the formation to the right side of the screen. If no one follows him, we like to just snap him once he gets to the numbers and throw the ball. And as you see, it's just a nice little quick pass 
to the outside. Now there's a situation where that could be covered, something like this, maybe a cover two. Um, and if they run the cover two properly, what will happen here is Wallace will not be, it won't be a good look here, but we could still kind of fit it in, honestly. You see that little, it's almost like a, it's almost like it doesn't get covered and, and haven't spent enough time with it to really expand on it. But um, I wanted to give it away to you guys today. A little smoke route. And then the cool part is that little underneath running back route is very effective against cover four, cover six, stuff like that. It has purple routes to the outside. If they, if they do have flat routes, then you're going to be able to hit the curl. So it's just basically a, a, just, a, just a simple read. Really nothing too complicated here. So see here, now you can hit the curl. And it's a, it's a three-man read, really. And then the only other thing that would happen, the only other situation where you would even need this route is if they were some kind of crazy all-out man blitz. And then you just say, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just lob over top of you and play a user catch game with uh, Dustin Keller. Okay, so that's curls. The first setup, uh, the second setup, I like to put Wallace on a drag route. Uh, I like to motion him. Um, let me see if I can get... There we go. Okay, so what, what I'll do here is I'll, I'll put Wallace on a drag. And on one of my, on the slant hook, I like to motion Wallace out to the numbers. So I'll motion him out on a, on a drag here. Snap, he'll get a snap back animation that will beat man-to-man -man and zone coverages. So I really like that about this play is they're going to have to use that route. Um, or they'll just have to give us the underneath, 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 and, and then play a chess match up and down the field with me. But you see here against man, the very effective separation that you get. Uh, to Wallace, a little snapback animation. And if that's not open, the beauty of this play is if they're in just a two-man under, watch the running back, or not the running back, but just the regular, um, whoops, I ran the wrong play there. I wonder it didn't work. Um, here we go, curl. So um, this route to uh, square, uh, X, he's going to be guarded by a corner, and it's just not a good matchup for Hartline because Hartline is a really big uh, receiver. He can break open. And, guys, also real quick, I like to put the fullback on a wheel route just to clear space for that drag route to come underneath. Here you'll see when, with the fullback on the wheel route, it's a lot more easy to get Mike Wallace in the open field on the drag. So that's what I like to do with that play. Um, and then, finally, slant hook. This is one of the uh, more popular plays in the Madden community um, as far as over the years. What we like to do with this play this year, though, is we like to put Miller on a streak. I like to put um, the uh, and the, or excuse me, I like to put the fullback on a streak and then the halfback on a wheel, and then we're just gonna motion Wallace to the numbers and snap it. Typically, if they don't follow him out, we can just snap throw, play a snap throw game, just like on the curls. Same exact idea here. And the beauty of the Far Tide Twins is all the snap throws, and there. I mean, we could be here for hours talking about all the different animations and snap throws you could do from this formation. Um, it's very effective. I feel like I need to get back get back into it a little bit more. Haven't been running it much this year. And then against man, you would just wait for him to snap back uh, and curl up. And then if you wanted to just go cycle cycle you through the reads here, this is pretty simple stuff. Um, but basically, against man, you're going to have the running back when he cuts up field. See right there, that little separation. All wheel routes this year beat man, even though they told us that they were going to tone down wheel routes' effectiveness. They have not. It, I think it beats man worse this year. Um, but anyhow, and then you have um, this little spot spot route to Heartline. Obviously, I really like that since how big he is. And then finally, um, the beauty of this play again is you have three. I think you have four man beaters. I think in one here. But uh, we really like that route to Keller against man coverage. Passing down to the inside works like a Y trail kind of situation and then really the only reason we use Miller's route is against like uh if they have a max a really good maximum coverage zone play this route we have not called a streak to the halfback all game so by using this streak out of this play we can we now get a really good opportunity against like cover three cover sixes stuff like that and and with a guy like Miller in the backfield he'll make that play for us nine times out of ten so that's the far tight twins formation guys be sure to mix in these quick tosses these little natty runs it's all they are is a you know a little pesky nat, uh, pesky fly annoying you. But the cool part about it is that they will you know they'll eventually break in the game. So definitely check out the far tight twins formation. That's our base offense. Uh, be sure to come back tomorrow. Check out our man beater and also guys be sure to check out our base defense coming soon. Thanks for your time today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give me some feedback in the comments and we'll see you tomorrow.